Good morning, Mike LeBlanc from South Winds Marine. We're going to do a tour of the Merix 330 Scandinav, Norwegian built boat um, from a family owned company. Started in uh, 1970, been building boats for many years, very well distributed throughout Europe and is now coming into North America in the US and Canada. We'll start off uh, with the stern of the boat. First off, uh, this is a 33-foot uh, model with an extended swim platform, bringing the length overall to uh, 34 and a half feet. Uh, it's got a beam of 11.2, and its uh, draft is uh, around the three and a half feet mark. Okay, we'll start off with the swim platform. On the swim platform, full teak. This is a boat that's been given the uh, our first teak option, which gives you full teak throughout the entire boat. It's natural wood. On the swim platform, you've got a wet locker that you can put in uh, a stern anchor, Danforth with anchor road or other storage items. Tractable swim ladder here. On the transom door, you're gonna have your raw water wash down and fresh water wash down as well. You also have a hot and cold shower and a nice bench as well. Your raw water wash down and fresh water wash down is on a hose reel, which is electric to reel back in and your hose will reach right up to the bow if you want to do wash your deck down or if you want to spray your anchor down as you're bringing your anchor up from being on the hook. Stows away nicely. Next we're going to have our shore power. Shore power here is under this small hatch at the first step. And then on the port and starboard sides, you're going to have a locker that is going to hold your fenders and lines. You can put up to three fenders in the locker to stow away. We're gonna move over to into the cockpit, or the rear cockpit area, aft cockpit. You're gonna have storage on either side, on your starboard side, also on the port for the same. You're gonna have a bench which is removable here in order to access the engine room. You've got a beautiful teak cockpit table which folds out, gives you the access for many guests. You can also collapse this table just simply turn the dial on the side, table collapses all the way down, and we'll tighten that up a little bit, and then you've got a nice filler cushion. So if you want to turn this area into sun lounge, you can turn it into a sun lounge. The roof on top, this umbrella material, it'll adjust at any location if you'd like, every two inches. If you've got some people that like to be in the sun or some people that like to be in the shade. You can also stow it right away, all the way in, Canvas hides away and it locks into position. In the evening, you're closing up your canvas and slide that all the way back. One of the great features of the boat to close in the cockpit area with the canvas. We've got a nice door on the sides on port and starboard side. Fiberglass door with a nice compartment. Your canvas slides out on a track, comes all the way around. You're going to have a canvas on both sides, port and starboard simply comes out and will bungee into position. There's no snaps or domes that come with the system. It's basically just a bungee on a rope, pull and tension, sucks up right against the hull, and you also have one on the port side that will come out to close up the boat. You can close your boat up. If there's a storm coming, you can get it all closed in within a minute. We'll stow this back away. Very easy to stow away, just simply slide it back into the cupboard and your canvas tucks in in just minutes. Now we can move out onto the uh, gunnel here. One of the main features of this boat, you've got a 10 and a half inch walkway on the gunnel, lots of room. Excellent boat if you're doing locks uh, or doing the loop where you'll be spending a lot of time traveling through locks. If you notice up on the hard top, we've got uh, a set of solar panels producing a thousand watts and on board there's a 2000 watt inverter which is ample power to operate all of your AC requirements when you're on the hook. Coming through this, there's a cockpit, there's a companionway door here by the helm. Also great access for when you're doing uh, canals. Very easy to get in and out. For the captain, easy access to the helm. We'll continue out onto the forward deck where we have a sun lounge, lots of accent LED lighting throughout the boat. The sun lounge is very easy to operate. You have four different positions that you can lounge when you're on the deck. Coming over to the anchor locker, ample room for lots of chain. You've got uh, 200 feet of chain here. It's a full chain road. 
and uh, windless with a Lumar claw anchor. Uh, very, very easy access and easy to wash down your anchor as you're pulling it up. Port side, you're gonna have your waste deck fitting. You'll have your diesel fueling side. Everything waste and diesel on the port side for easy access when you're on the dock. You have a removable radar arch, very easy to remove for transport, um, and options to put on a satellite um, antenna as well for TV. Very easy ag engine access, lots of room, very, very, very easy to service. You easily get on either side of the motor. This section as well comes up hydraulically when we remove this seat to give us access to the starboard side of the block as well. All your decking is all in really well insulated. Reduces a lot of no engine noise when you're underway. As we continue in, we've got a sliding glass door bulkhead, which is really, really nice to extend your season. Easy to operate. Got a couple of different positions to let some airway through, and then you can lock it in the full open position. Little compartment, you've got lots of drawers, tons of storage. This particular one on this model can be um, replaced by a, uh, a fridge, which is a fridge and freezer. You can control the temperature, turn it into a freezer, or turn it into a fridge. As we come into the main salon, we've got our galley, um, which has a sink. You've also got a stove top, which is propane, and you've got a small stove or oven that is also propane. They've gone propane. Here's your propane tank, which is stored here, and you've also got your fuel emergency shutoff. Merix has gone with a propane system, again, to um, reduce the amount of AC power demand. So you can run the entire system with your inverter and your solar power without the need for a generator. We come into the dinette. This is a convertible dinette. You can drop down, cushion filler, uh, in order to turn it into another berth. You've got a small seat which stows away for a fifth guest that can be adjusted in height which gives you the ability to easily sit five at this dinette table. While underway, the forward dinette bench will flip forward, and now you have access to another seating area when the boat is underway. Lots of views through the hardtop. So the hardtop is a fiberglass hardtop. This is a mechanical hardtop, very easy to operate. Again, you can also adjust this hardtop in different positions and lock it in place. Or you can close completely in weather, and it's all locked up. Here you have the helm. This particular unit for navigation has a dual Garmin um, GPS setup. Um, essentially, this particular uh, setup is, we have many different displays right now on the screen. Um, you can adjust it to any display that you want in the home page. You can go in and adjust all of your um, screens that you want to see. You've got a bow thruster on this unit up front. This is a stern drive unit. It's got a, it, it's powered by a D6 Volvo 440 horsepower. Um, and you have a, for maneuverability, you've got, it's a dual prop stern drive and you have a bow thruster on the front of the boat. The 440 D6 will push the boat at 30 knots for cruising speed and it gives you a 38 knot um, maximum speed, which is about 42, 42 miles an hour. This is your bow thruster joystick control. Um, the boat is also equipped with the zip wake system. Um, it's an automatic trim system that you can set to auto, which will control the pitch and the roll of the boat. Moving down into the cabin, we can start with the main stateroom. Here's your filler cushions for your dinette area. You've got a very large bed, which will be equipped, it comes equipped with a dual memory foam mattress, which gives you the real feel of a bed. There's tons of room and tons of light in this cabin. Lots of lighting, lots of headroom. If you're a taller guy or taller, you, probably six foot clearance is not a problem. If you're five, six, five, six, lots of room. Lots of room in the head. This model comes with a vacuum flush head. You've got an enclosed, uh, what we call a dry shower. It's also a drop down shower. So if you're taller, um, you still get a, a great headroom to have a shower. Moving into the aft cabin, aft cabin also has a lot of light and is also a generous size bed. Also comes with a dual density memory foam mattress. Tons of light on the port and starboard side and port windows on the port side. Vessel has plenty of storage throughout. You've got a clothes locker in the aft and a clothes locker in the forward berth. 
All units come with cut custom fitted sheets and bedding. All your doors come with hidden hinges and all have gussets on, the, on all the closures. So when you close, you've got a soundproof uh, and a sealed closure on all doors. This model is equipped with a diesel uh, heater for keep heat in the cabin, extend your boating season. And I think that pretty much covers the boat. An overnighter or a boat that you want to do the Great Loop with or a boat that you want to cruise into the North Channel on Georgian Bay, the Merrick Scandinav 330 would be an excellent choice.